like these huge rodents or lizards like rush in front of my feet. What's up, Pea Nation? As you can see, it's another beautiful day here in Latvia. This barn behind us is where we spent the night last night. It is absolutely adorable here. We are in a beach town, and we are headed to... Carosta Prison. It's right across town. By the way, we're here in Lipai, Latvia. It's right on the coast. It's absolutely beautiful. And next, we're going to where? The Hill of Crosses in Lithuania. Apparently, like that's the number one thing to do in Lithuania, per all my research. So we're gonna see how that goes. Okay, and we have made it to the prison. This is probably the least amount of research I've done the whole trip on what we're doing today. So I have no idea what era this is from. It's looking like World War II, but it could Maybe. be Soviet era. It's hard to tell. here at 12 30 apparently it's a tour by the hour so it's gonna be another 30 minutes until another tour goes but you also had to book in advance so unfortunately we did not because i thought we could just walk in anyways if you have an opportunity to come to this place so it's really cool yeah you can spend the night here you can play a spy game here we have to escape the entire prison and there's also an escape room so like you can also be treated like a prisoner, actually. I forgot about that one, too. So this is like a really educational place, and it's the only military museum, military prison museum in Europe of its kind. Really? Yeah. The Hill of Crosses is going to be amazing. Yeah. I'm really excited about yeah. that. I don't know if you can see, but that's the Latvian flag, and that's Latvia, and we made it. It is on a dirt road. Just, that's crazy. I'm just like baffled right now. I don't think I've ever crossed a state border on a dirt road, let alone a country. So I am now walking in to Lithuania, which is me and Leah's 32nd country. I like, like at most. We got to go. Okay. They're thinking we're gonna feed them. Okay, sorry for the wind. We have just made it to arguably the most visited place in Lithuania, the Hill of Crosses. It is a lot more crazy than we thought it would be. It's kind of in a field in the middle of nowhere, and I am really excited to see what is in store. Good one. Good one. I think it's a good one. It's only two euros. I'm holding this cross like, go find a vampire. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we need to like appreciate this place though. This place is a lot more religious than we led, are led to believe. So okay. apparently during the occupation in the Soviet Union times, the people are like come to this place and it would just be like resistance. Like we are gonna believe in our religion and you guys can't tell us to do. And it was okay. like a place of peace and resistance and then the Pope came here in 2004 and it's just like a hell of crisis. This hill seems kind of small, but we're still really far away from it. Like you can park on the road, they have a visitor center, and then they have this really nice pathway, and you can like buy across, which is really cool for people who are like really into Christian culture, faith, all that stuff. Um, so we bought a cross so that we could add to the hill. We are pretty excited to add it. There's apparently 200,000 crosses here, but they're like all different different sizes. So, it seems like there's a lot on there. There's probably way more than we can even see right now. We're walking up to it still, so let's go see them all. So I think it's interesting that they, they put up a few placards saying that there's some like rules and restrictions to your visit here. So this really is like a monument to the suffering of the Lithuanian people. It was visited by one of the popes, which is really cool. They say like you're not allowed to really touch any of the crosses. If it's like been taken down or been like pushed over, you're not allowed to re-erect it. Um, you're not obviously allowed to like destroy any of the crosses here, but you can put your own cross on. So it's just interesting. It's kind of like a church, but not really. if 
I'm seeing like these huge rodents or lizards like brush in front of my feet. They're like move so incredibly fast. I'm really kind of like afraid that it's gonna be like a snake. I don't know, There's, this place is alive. So what I find surprising about this place is it's a lot more interactive than I considered they'd let you make it be, I guess. Make it be. So like we're walking through all these little pathways and seeing all the crosses that were erected here and I just thought it would be like something you kind of stared at, mm -hmm. you know, but you're like you're really to walk all the way through it and you can even go up the hill. There's so many little crosses and big crosses yeah. and apparently crosses can't be above three meters, but yeah. I feel like some of them are above nine feet. And I definitely read, I think I read on the thing that it was like, you're not supposed to put like a name on the cross. Oh. But I'm seeing a lot of names. A lot of names. Yeah. place to erect our cross. We don't know where we're gonna put it. It has to feel right. I'm looking for a place with a view. Also, like, if I ever come back to Lithuania, I'm not sure why that would happen, but maybe one day. I kind of want to find it again. <laughs> so like I need like a marker, you know, like something that will really be like, oh that's the one. Even though it looks like every single other one. Oh, pink ranch one. I want that. Okay, Leah has chosen a spot on the hill. But Daniel's the only one that get down there, so. No, like just anywhere. It's fine. This is a good view. Sure. You know what I'm saying? I'm feeling that. We've done it. it! Thank you, Daniel. Yep. So this is kind of crazy. We, as we were here, like walking in, we realized that Car and Nate have also been here, and they showed you in their video like where to find their cross, and we found it. It's right here. So unfortunately, we did not place our cross where you'll be able to find it. It's really awesome that they did that because we found it, but we, we had intention of placing our cross where we would be, if we were to ever come back, we'd be able to find it again. But unfortunately, I don't think we did that. So anyway, this place is really, really cool. You know, it's, it's a place to be taken very seriously. People putting crosses all over the place. It's really, really just kind of like a nice place to take a walk. It's been a very interesting visit. So we're heading back to the car and I just want to say, I don't think they could have chosen a more picturesque picturesque place for this hill of crosses. I mean, it really is absolutely beautiful. Lithuania, Latvia, and Estonia are all just like gorgeous farmlands. We've been driving through it so much. It's absolutely spectacular. But now we're heading to Penzimus? <laughs> Pen, Penzimus. I think it's called Penzimus. It's in Lithuania. We don't know what to expect there, but we're gonna go and see the night. And just like that, one hour later, we have made it to our Airbnb and we are back in Soviet Union housing. I know you guys are like, why are you it's excited about that? It's just so nostalgic and it's like cool to be with yeah. people that still live here. And I don't know, it's really nice. You feel like you're really living in a community. It's like less yeah. of an apartment complex and you like, Generally, there are kids. Mm -hmm. I don't know. And young families. <laughs> you just feel like more part of history. So we are here, and we're going to make some dinner. And we bought some really cool grocery items that are, like, super Lithuanian. And we're really excited to show you. Yay. Okay, so this is the dessert that Daniel found for us. Oh. Apparently, it's traditional. And we're going to tell you what it means in a second. But first, you have to look it up. And this is what we're pairing with it. It is a tube normally found in America meat goes in here, but it's ice cream. Ice cream! Okay, so there's a, a rod, and they have this rod like fixed over a flame. Okay, here's our representation. So it's a rod over a flame, here's the flame, and they just turn this side. rod. It's like over here, flames over here. Just kidding, it's over here. Okay, okay, okay. And so someone's pouring batter, Daniel, yep. pour the batter. Mm -hmm. Pouring batter over this rod, and it's like slowly cooking, and they just keep doing that and keep doing that and keep doing that as it's twisting and twisting and twisting, and it's like this spicy, it's, it's not spicy, it's spiky. A spiky cake is the result. It's very bready. Yeah, it's kind of like a sugar cookie almost, right? It is like a cookie. Yeah, it's not what I was expecting. This is the slice of cake. <laughs> Oh, 
It's like a cookie. Yeah. It's not very That's moist. Awesome. Okay, guys. What's up, P Nation? It's another beautiful day here in Latvia, and it.